Hello guys, it's Pep from Pep back at it again and today I'm here with an original proposal um, actually a deck that is, has been forgotten for a little while but um, I think it can be a good option for this KC Cup uh, you know, one of the rogue deck that can rise up from the ashes um, as you may have seen from the thumbnail I'm talking about the Magnet Warrior so I'm here with Mokuba and here's my deck list. But before jumping right into it, guys, just a quick reminder if you enjoyed the content, please leave a like and subscribe. I really appreciate it and it really helps me a lot. Let's jump right into the deck list. So I'm here with Mokuba, and the skill I've chosen for this deck is See You Later. Now, for all who do not know what it does, it's pretty easy. You can select one monster you control, it can be face up or face down, and you just make it return to your hand. Of course, if you choose a monster uh, that comes from the extra deck, it will be put down, put back right there. So, only once per duel, no requirements in terms of life points or in terms of turns. Uh, you do not need to wait anything. Whenever you want, you have a monster, boom, see you later. And why this can be good? So this thing can be good with magnets because you can just abuse um, the effects of these little guys right here. So, uh, imagine that the, on your first turn you summon one of the little guys, so Alpha, or maybe the best option is Beta. So, first turn you summon Beta, and for, uh, um, I don't know what reason, in the next turn you do not activate the effect and you still have your Beta on the field on your next turn. You can abuse its effect and use it back again with this skill see you later, you make better come back to your hand and boom you summon it back again on the field and another search. That's the thing of course. And uh, another good use for see you later is actually getting rid of monsters that are stuck on the field. I mean a monster that has been targeted by finish chain or that has been a victim of Floodgate Trapple. So imagine you summon your Berserkin, you have, you banish your stuff from the grave, you get your Berserkin out and boom, your opponent goes with Floodgate. You can just see you later on your Berserkin, it comes back to your hand and also, as you will see in replays, because it actually happens to me, if you have another Alpha, another Beta, another Gamma to banish, you can special summon the Berserkin right back again so that's really really good um, the build in terms of monsters is just pretty standard we have a couple of berserkians triple delta that is the target of the of the second effect of your magnets warrior because they're gonna tribute someone they're gonna tribute themselves in your opponent's turn to summon a delta from um, from the deck so and this is good because in it not only lets you send a monster to the uh, to the graveyard but of course thin out the deck and um, prepare some fuel for your Berserkian. Uh, then we have Triple Gamma and Triple Beta, in my opinion the best. Triple Beta because Beta is just the searcher so you can search for any uh, Magnet Warrior from your deck and it's the best one and Triple Beta cause, uh, sorry, Triple Gamma cause um, he helps you have more monsters on the field and so he helps you going on with your Xyz summon. And then last but not least, uh, just a couple alpha, of course it's searchable so you do not need uh, more than two in my opinion. Um, and you just have a couple of Berserkians so you do not really need a third one. Then we have um, one magnetic field but don't get me wrong, I only own one copy but if you have two, put at least two. In my opinion, three can be uh, maybe too much, but two, in my opinion, is the best option. So two magnetic fields just too good. Um, a a, re a muscle removal that that does not target. That's insane. And also, it lets you special summon a magnet warrior from your graveyard as long as you control another one on the field. So really, really good. Uh, so definitely two. Triple floodgate. Uh, you know, apart from the fact that Floodgate is just an insane card and it's amazing, um, 
it really combines well uh, with Berserkian because the thing is, imagine a monster that cannot be targeted, you just floodgate him and then you get rid of him with Berserkian because when a monster is, uh, uh, is face down, of course, uh, its effects are unactivated, so aren't in play. So, and you with Berserkian, you can target even monsters that uh, if face up cannot be targeted, like for example, Kakitus in the old back time. In the old times, if you floodgate Kakitus, then you get you can get rid of him with your Berserkin. And then I'm still in doubt on this thing. I mean, um, you will see replays where I, um, only replays where I used this tackle, so with triple powerful rebirth, simple simply cause um, of course it's just so good. You special summon a, one of your magnet warriors from the graveyard, and it good it's good because on summon uh, you will trigger your magnet warriors effect. Uh, that's just good for that, and of course it can help you go um, into some XC summon, but you can actually take into account uh, playing tri can triple Canadia the, for the same reason on Floodgate. You can just use your Canadia and then get rid of, uh, of that monster with Berserkian, so in my opinion can be uh, a really good replacement. So keep in mind Canadia, let's just search it out for you. Canadia is just oh maybe I write I read it wrong. Can oh no. Can okay. Can you you can do it. Okay. Canadia. So it's just like a floodgate, but this Canadia target and it also has a recycling effect from the grave. You, you can be some special someone as a monster. So it can be uh, useful in some situations, of course. So you can just build it like this for example it, it will be still a valid the deck list uh, but as I told you before guys I just play the deck in this way and then last but not least the Xyz monster the best one salve silver mountain uh, one that really makes uh, made the deck really good uh, two level 3 other monsters, you can see all these little guys are level 3 and thanks to magnetic field you can just go into this really really easily and you can detach one Xyz Matilda to target a set card your opponent's spell and trap zone. And it's just like for all the OG players, a Sergeant Electro. So it's just like that you can use, uh, you can stack one of your opponent's back row and you cannot activate it. That's insane. And also if this card destroys a monster by battle, you can special summon a, a magnet warrior basically from your graveyard, but you're not gonna really use that effect. The good one is the first one. Then we have uh, another rank 3 Nightmare Shark, just for some spicy moves, you know, to finish your opponent in some cases. And then a bunch of very good uh, XC, rank, uh, rank 4 XCs. Uh, of course, guy, I do not have Diamond Direwolf, but if you have it, definitely put it in, um, replacing Utopia, definitely the best option. I do not have Diamond Direwolf, that's why I didn't play it. So, that is definitely one of the best options. And in my opinion, guys, this deck is quite competitive, really good, definitely card worthy. I actually made... Uh, to uh, legend rank one with this one, starting from the bottom. These are my last 10 duos. You can see 7 out of 10, um, and I reached legend rank one with this deck. So, really, really nice to play, also. So, um, that was all for the deck list. Now we can jump uh, right into the replays. There you go, my boys. First duel, this was actually my rank up duel to uh, go into the legend rank one. Chad's Prison with, uh, if I'm not wrong, Euratic deck. Really good. Uh, really nice to play, actually. This is actually pretty good hand, my boys, because I have my magnetic field, so I have my gamma for um, an additional summon. So, really, really good. We have also a floodgate as a defense. We're chilling. So, the Erratic goes in with all these special summons and it actually hands the turn with double Xyz and one of those being the Photon Strike Bouncer that is really a problem from this deck because you know guys, Magnet Warriors are all about monsters effect and you know, dealing with the Photon Strike Bouncer is not that easy. 
Uh, let's see what we got. We have, uh, I, we actually draw into a powerful rebuild. That's that's good. And then first effect, he decides to negate, and it's fine to me. Only gamma, we're chilling. And actually, as you can see, guys, um, powerful rebuild was the perfect pick. Uh, as you can see, that's the problem of floodgate. The problem of floodgate is that. If you start second and your opponent in, your, in his first turn makes his full board ready, then the floodgate becomes useless. So that's of course the bad side of floodgate, but it still remains one of the best trap cards in the game. So uh, just I uh, decided of course to use the magnetic field because do not forget the second effect that is the best. When he attacks a, mag a Magnet Warriors, I can just choose once per turn to make that monster come back to the hand. So he goes on with another summon, and this was my mistake, I floodgated, cause... Um, maybe not a mistake, because this little guy right here can discard a card, or maybe tribute a card, to target one of my spell and trap cards and destroy it. That's why I floodgated, cause I didn't want him to choose maybe my powerful rebirth, so that I would, um, would have been... Uh, defenseless. Uh, he tribute Dixies, then his other effect, I I chained my Gamma, my Gamma's effect, he negated it with the Photon Strike Bouncer, and so in this case, with as you can see guys, without my Powerful Rebirth, I would have been dead. But thanks to Powerful Rebirth, I'm still safe. But keep in mind guys, of course, that if instead of powerful rebuild we will have had a Canadia, we have we will have had a good move to make because actually we Canadia can just um, uh, uh, put face down my, we our photon strike banter so he cannot negate and we're chilling. Keep in mind that. So he goes in, but I have my uh, powerful rebuild Gamma's effect, so I have also another master on the field and Delta to put to the grave. Uh, a better magnetic field effect to make it come back to the to the extra deck and then he, he makes the mistake of not attacking because he was afraid maybe a magnetic field maybe uh, he didn't read that he's just once per turn and now I'm chilling because in the end of phase there's the effect to bring out another delta so I can thin out the deck then magnetic field to add to special summon actually a better better adding an alpha and alpha normal summon to add Berserkin, but he negated. So, okay, I'm still chilling. You know, you know why, guys? Thanks to the Xyz summon. So, Soul of Survey Mountain, all in defense, and then Floodgate. I actually made a mistake right here, guys. I could have gone in uh, with one of my monsters, so uh, using the effect of Magnetic Field, but you know, uh, I forget that it actually works even if uh, it's me to attack. Uses the effect of Vulcan Cyrus, attacks in, and boom, Magnetic Field kicks in, so I'm chilling, I also have my Floodgate right here. Uh, really good pull with the monster, um, special summoning the Alpha with the effect of Magnetic Field, adding, adding the Berserkian, uh, special summoning him out, and boom, swinging in. Uh, and when I thought the duel was ended, he had this. Look at this. At <laughs> this incredible play, Draconic Fusion into a Dragon's Mirror and Dragon's Mirror banishing from the grave to go into one of the kings of the meme. Five in and a dragon. Uh, luckily, I had my floodgate, so I was chilling. And then, end phase, Gamma's effect, Data is coming, and he can just do. He can't do anything. Starting banishing with Berserkian and destroying, um, popping out of everything I can, and then swinging in for lethal. That's how you do it, my boys. Here we go, second duel again. Gamma plus another Magnet Warrior means a double summon on our first turn. We also have, um, we already have our couple of Berserkian in hand, so we're chilling. We just need a better, and we're fine. Dark Magician deck with Rod, Circle, and there you go, adding a thousand knives. Okay, Dark Magic Veil into a Dark Magician, and he makes the misplay of targeting one of my Magnet Warriors, um, uh, chaining the effect so that I can still have him in the grave, Delta's effect, 
um, to send Beta to the grave, but he also has Iotimaius and Dark Cavalry. That's pretty tough to deal with, but we got it. So um, he actually destroys all all my monsters, and uh, that's actually good because um, this means we have more fuel for Berserkian. But keep in mind that Dark Cavalry can negate Berserkian. In the end phase, powerful rebirth, special summoning beta, beta adding delta, why delta? Cause I needed another level 4 so that I can go, I could go in my exceeds shogun and that's what I did. Now guys, keep in mind that um, Diamond Diamond would have been a better choice but I had my symphony gene. Um, in enough good, I can say. I use the effect of Jin. I can detach one Xyz material to target one attack position monster my opponent controls and to pet him in, the, in face down defense position. I targeted the Tark Cavalry and he had to negate my Jin that got destroyed. Of course, keep in mind that Jin has another effect. If he's going to be destroyed, you can detach an Xyz material and avoid destruction, but I didn't accept that. I want the gene to be destroyed and you're gonna uh, understand why in a minute because I wanted to have my Berserkin as the only monster on the field. Why? Because now I'm gonna use the effect of Berserkin by banishing a Magnet Warrior from the graveyard and targeting the Dark Cavalry. Dark Cavalry is going to negate, Berserkin is going to be destroyed and Berserkian has another effect, when it's destroyed, you can special summon Alpha, Beta and Gamma from the banished section back to the field. But you can do it only if Berserkian is the only monster on the field because you need all the three slots um, in, on your field. That's the thing, so you want Berserkian to be the only monster on the field if you know he's about to be destroyed. That's what I did. Banishing, covering the gates. Now he has no more, neg no more um, negation, and we're chilling. Berserkin effect, special summoning all of them back to the field. I have the other Berserkin. Uh, I also get the effect of my little guys. Other effect of Berserkin. Boom. Starting popping off everything he has, and he just cooked. That's how you do it. Third duo, my boys, against Aster Phoenix. What we got here. It's me to start, Gamma and Delta, we're chilling, we have a powerful robot so we can send a Beta um, so that in the next turn we can use the powerful robot on Beta and get the search. So it is a 6 Samurai deck, just shut down with a Floodgate as you can see. So I used all my stuff, this is a very quick duel as you can see, I have all I need right here. and. The effect of beta thinning the deck and going for an alpha. So keep in mind that I do not have to be afraid about having the field clogged because I always have my skill ready to free one slot. But I decided to go with an Abyss Thriller effect. He uses finish chain. I um, chain the effect just to uh, you know to have uh, uh, more fuel for my Berserkian. Alpha's effect. Looking for Berserkian. Banishing all, Berserkin is out, and boom, kicking in, and ending the duel really, really quickly, my boys. Here we go. For duel, Kite is here, and we got actually, maybe this is the perfect end. So, Gamma plus Beta and Magnetic, and magnetic Field. So, definitely. We also have a Floodgate, and this is a classic Foden deck. I decided to floodgate the Photon Lizard, but he has a lens, so he avoided my floodgate, Photon Lizard effect, and now he is free to go into his full combo on his first turn. Uh, Trasher, Vanisher, looking for Galaxy Eyes, White Dragon, then Galaxy Photon, as you can see all the stuff that is coming, and boom, Star Resort Galaxian. Moving on with the Foden Vanisher and all the stuff that you can see. Boom, boom, boom. Also adding with the, with the skill, with the Galaxy uh, Photon skill, he added the Photon Stream of Destruction so he can banish a card. Then it's starting to swing it in and my Beta kicks in. Also my Gamma kicks in, summoning a couple of Delta. We're chilling. There you go. 
I let him destroy the first one and then when he attacked with Galaxian I used the effect of Managdi Field to make it come back to the, um, to the extra deck and then I had to take the damage of Galaxy. Good, good pull with Alpha and Beta, then Alpha and Magnetic Field Effect to have a couple of monsters. Now, Xyz Shogun rank 3, so this means Saul of Silver Mountain is about to come, and he had to use the effect of Photon Swim of Destruction before activating the effect of Saul of Silver Mountain, that's exactly what I want him to do. Berserkian, Book of Moon says, Face down, but I have my see you later skill, my boys. So I also had all the other boys with another bad, another gamma, another delta, sorry, another alpha, another berserkian, and then boom, I start swinging in, and that's how you do it. Just one card, he has nothing more. That's how you do it, guys. So uh, that was all my boys, I hope you enjoyed all the explanation, feel free to ask me whatever you want in the comment section down below, thanks a lot for watching, and as always guys, see you in the next one!